Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can find images to use in your multimedia projects without violating anyone's copyright. I was recently asked about how to do this in Google Images, and even though Google Images is not my preferred tool for finding pictures, I'll show you how it works anyway. Let's get started here. I'm at images.google.com. Let's say I need a picture of a puppy. Now, by default, Google is going to serve up any picture that it has indexed with a puppy label. So to change that, let's go into the tools setting and change our usage rights to something like labeled for reuse with modification. If it's not filtered by license, it's going to serve up everything. Here, we're going for labeled for reuse with modification. And let's say we find this picture here that we like of this little corgi. Let's go and visit the source. And here we see that the source is the Wikimedia Commons. And let's scroll down and make sure that we actually do have rights to reuse this. And in this case, we see it's labeled under a Creative Commons license, which means you're free to share it and remix it, but you need to give attribution when you use the image. So now you can go ahead and download that image, but just make sure you give proper attribution. Some other ways to find pictures. Let's go to photosforclass.com. Let's say we need a picture of a cat. This will bring up a big page of cat pictures. And let's say I want to use this picture. Let's click download. Now when I go to open it, you'll notice that the attribution information has been added to the bottom of the picture for me. So that's very convenient for anyone who is reusing pictures in their multimedia projects. You'll notice that Photos for Class relies heavily on Pixabay and also uses some Flickr images. So let's go directly to Pixabay. Pixabay.com is a source of images that are in the public domain. Let's go and look for a picture of another puppy. Now, any of the images that appear in this gray band that say sponsored by Shutterstock, those are not free to download and reuse. Everything below it you can reuse. Let's go ahead and click on this puppy picture. And we'll see there's a download button right there. You can download the size that you need for that picture. Another option is Unsplash Photos. Unsplash Photos works in a very similar manner. Let's say I need a picture of a puppy again. And we'll see all kinds of puppy pictures. Let's click on this one. We can see I can download it for free. You can also hit this share button and a link to it. Let's download it for free. And you'll get this little message that says crediting isn't required, but it is appreciated. So if you want to give credit to the photographer, just copy that code and you can paste that into your credits. So that's a handful of ways that you can find free images to use in your multimedia projects. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.